Now, one of the comments that I got on my previous video is, why are the surfaces you're making so complex? And I'm gonna explain part of the reason, and it's a very simple explanation as to why I'm getting extremely complex surfaces. And this is true for any CAD system, of course, because math is math. Now, before I go on, uh, if you would, please, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel, as well as like the video. Stuff like that really helps me out. And of course, share with your friends. And um, that, again, boosts everything that I do, and I'm more inclined to make more videos. So please do those things. I really appreciate it. So I'm gonna start out with an arc. And I'm using an arc because one of the sections in my prior video, which is linked in the description below, was an arc. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and just take this arc and I'm gonna transform it, copying it. I want everyone to see that I'm using two arcs. Very, very simple geometry. Now, if I try to display the poles on this, you'll notice I can't. There's no knots, there's nothing there. These are just simply arcs. When I go in and I make a through curve mesh, or I'm sorry, just a through curves, or this would be the same for a through curve mesh, I'm gonna pick arc number one, arc number two, select okay. Now I'm gonna go in here and display the poles. And what you see is a very complex web of poles. Now, if I look at the setup for this, you'll notice it's parameter, preserve shape, multiple. Now this is normal. If I say simple, um, right, I can select a template. If I say spline points, you know, I don't have a spline points. Go back to normal, I got multiple. I, I'll try single, right, just sort of simplify it a little bit, but I'm still getting relatively complex math. It really doesn't matter how I fuddle around with, what I fuddle around with. I'm still gonna get a relatively complex surface even though I used two arcs, right? The simplest of non-linear curves. The reason is because all of these tools, let me select okay, all of these tools that you see here, swept, not the extrude, but swept through curve, through curve, mesh, studio surface, law extension, section surface, the, all of these things, they are NURBS based, okay? A NURBS based, in NURBS based math, true circles do not exist. They just don't. Mathematically, NURBS based math does not support true circles. Now, to prove my point, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna copy this curve and I'm gonna paste it because I don't wanna, I don't wanna modify the existing curve because it will modify the existing curve. And I'm just gonna go ahead and hide these. I'm gonna pick this, now I'm gonna go into X form. The moment I go into X form, it's gonna convert that curve. It's gonna remove the parameters. Okay, I'm fine with that. And it's gonna display the control points of said curve. Okay, now, this curve was an arc, a circle. Notice the parameterization, degree of four, segments, four. If I reduce the segments, Right. I go down and down and down. Let me display the original arc so you can get an idea of comparison. It's there. Now, if I reduce the degree of this, see the original arc is there. Now, if I leave it at a three and one, it's fairly close. Okay. It's not perfect, but it's fairly close. If I go up another degree, I get it even closer. It's basically, now it's just about perfect. It's almost spot on, okay? I'm gonna select okay, hide this arc, pick my spline, notice it's now a spline, and display the control polygon, and also display the knots. Because I simplified it, I don't have the knots. By default, it shows the knots. By default, it has a much more complex curve. It's just the nature of NURBS modeling. Because it's a circle in that original section, when the modeler, and this is true for all modelers, like if you go into Alias, which when it draws a circle, it's a NURBS-based circle, the control polygon is fairly complex for a circle. 
And when I draw a surface, make a surface, like through curves, through curve mesh, whatever, with a circle, the surface itself necessarily has to be complex to match that circle. That's why a lot of times when you see me drawing stuff, I, in real world, real world design, the simplest curve isn't a circle. The simplest curve is a conic. Okay, now I can get a conic to be very close to a circular shape. I can get a spline, as you can see here, and it's a little, maybe a little bit more complex than you want it to be, but I can get a spline to be very, very close to looking circular, but it's not truly a circle. Okay, now, if I go in, let me go ahead and hide this guy. Let me bring back my arc, and let me go into none, bring back... There's my spline. Okay, there's my other arc. So I'm gonna come in here and what I'm gonna do is, let me show my through curve surface. Okay, that's as simple as that surface can be. And when I con converted my curve initially, you saw the control polygon looked very similar to that. You saw that it had this exact polygon control polygon layout because it needed to because of the circles okay now if I to make this much more long-winded because some people seem to like to punish themselves and enjoy the long-winded explanations I'm gonna draw in a studio spline just something simple apply actually you know what I'll do is I'll just take this and copy that and transform it, moving the object this direction. So now I have my splines. Now, if I go to modify this spline, let's do, let's do this. I'm just gonna bend it over this way. Now I'm gonna go in there and do my through curves once again. And pick this guy, show my polygons. Well, you look at that. Much simpler mathematically, these line up, these CVs, control points, control vertices, whatever you want to call them, they're all the same, line up so the surface has that little bend and twist in it. Okay, again, very, very simple surface. If I double click on it once again, and I come in here and I change this to say single, you'll notice it simplifies it even more. But this is as simple as that can get. And again, I'm using a spline, which in theory is a more, and I'm doing the scare quote, air quote, complex of the curves. But again, because the through curves is NURBS math, the through curves cannot truly generate a circular or cylindrical surface so it has to mathematically break it down and put in all the additional control points and polygons so for people that are using circles for that type of math thinking they're using the simplest math that's not always the case okay when you go through and create your curves, the simplest curve for NURBS math is going to be a spline. In this case, these are basically conics. I'm oversimplifying it. I know I'm oversimplifying it. And somebody's going to yell at me and say, oh, it's not a conic, it's a spline. But in essence, this is a conic because if I were to overlay a conic and find out the row value, I would have this exact control polygon laid out, right? This is my vector of tangency this is my vector of tangency this is the apex and whatever the row value happens to be is whatever the row value happens to be so in essence i'm basically using conics and stringing a surface through it to get that simplest mathematical representation between those two sections so the reason why I, i'm getting extremely heavy math in the prior video again it's linked in the description below is because one of the sections is a circle. 
Okay, it's a sketch, there's a line, and then there's a tangent arc. And because it's a tangent arc, anything that I draw off of that is going to be far more complex than it necessarily has to. Now, real world, if I needed that line, because there are instances in a car and various other places where you need an actual true line, okay, like there's not many of those places, but the, rocker, the rockers down below, those are basically linear and planar. Uh, when you're getting into the vehicle, right, where you, when you step through the, the uh, doors and stuff, those, those are basically linear. And other areas like that in the vehicle, not many, but there are some. So yes, you would use a line in those instances. But a line is just fine when you are using NURBS math, and the system knows how to define that. But it's the circles and arcs that NURBS math has a much more, we'll say, I don't want to say difficult time because it's not difficult, but it makes a far more complex surface using those things. So real world, if it were me, I would draw the line, I would draw a spline tangent, and then put the control points where I want them to be to make it as close to the circle shape that I need, and then use that. Okay, so like, as you can see here, circles are great, they're wonderful for lots of things, we need them, we use them all the time, all over the place, constantly, but as part of a segment, in your section string, you'll end up with potentially overly complicating the amount of math the surface has because, again, NURBS cannot truly create representative uh, true circles. They, they have a, a, a simulacrum of sorts. So it's, a, it's a doppelganger, right? It looks like a circle. But when you look at the, uh, let me pick that circle. Right, and then I'm going to do uh, the d -d 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 curvature graph on it, like in this case. This is my circle. Now, if I take my circle, let me go ahead and hide this for now. Let me hide this. I'm going to take this arc and I'm going to go into X form once again. Yeah, remove the parameters. And I'm going to simplify this, making it as simple as I possibly can. Select OK. Now, when I look at my porcupines, OK, actually, let's do, when I look at my porcupines, make sure, yep. What, if I look at a minimum, I look at my maximum, you'll notice that I have 003617, 0036664, slight variations, because it's no longer a true circle. It's close, but it's no longer a true circle. And that's just how NURBS math work. So, to recap, when you're building a class A surface, it's absolutely required to be class A. This is one of the things that I think everybody should know. Try to refrain from using true circles because they will give you a very complex NURBS result. So fit in a spline, whether it's a conic, second degree spline, or third degree, fourth degree, whatever that is to get the shape that you need. Try to use a spline so you can control the shape using NURBS, which the NURBS surfacing tools like, and you will not get that overly complex final result because you use the circle. Okay? Hope that helps.